If he did not support Scientology or was hostile to it, he would be declared a suppressive person and Marla would be forbidden to have any contact. At the least he was being handled. As this video shows, Kent Snyder worked regularly and closely with CCHR, actively promoting legislation favorable to them. This bill is not successful, is not passed. Then two or three or four years from now, what you're going to find is you're going to find stories of parents who said, why didn't we work harder? My child is now subject to mental screening. He's now subject to therapy. There's all sorts of coercive measures that are going on. So the time is now. Parents need to understand that. And we're going to do everything we can to, to, to fight against it. This is important because there is an attempt to rationalize Ron Paul's involvement with CCHR and founding member Dr. Zass is harmless. On the Ron Paul forums when a supporter points out the Scientology connection, another member tries to spin Zass as a great libertarian who is not a Scientologist nor is sympathetic to Scientology. This is bullshit. CCHR is a branch of Scientology and SZAZS co-founded it. The Church of Scientology would never allow someone they did not control to have that much influence. The CCHR website was registered by Scientologist Amber Smayadaki. Most of the board are Scientologists. Zias denies being a Scientologist. A representative writes, Sharing this battle does not mean that Dr. Zias supports the unrelated principles and causes of any religious or non-religious organization. This can be true working with most organizations. But as we have shown, Scientology does not work this way. You are either for Scientology 